Yes, there's a big solar storm coming. I know it sounds like something you'd probably see in a movie, but in this case, it's true. The sun has started erupting, sending jets of particles hurtling towards Earth. And here's why it's so concerning. These particles could actually cause disruptions to electronics and power, but it could also mean a rare treat in the Arizona sky. 12 News journalist William Pitts explains what's going on with the sun. The NOAA Space Weather Center issued what's basically a severe space weather warning. We have a very rare event on our hand. The last time that we issued a G4 was 2005. 19 years later, we're in for more solar storms. So what is a solar storm anyway? The sun gets, gets uh, this active region on it, and um, it, it starts to get excited and uh, eventually releases this burst of uh, particles, hot plasma. Katrina Bossard is a solar scientist at ASU's School of Earth and Space Exploration. Put in simple terms, the sun is belching, like a lot. It's called a coronal mass ejection. It's this spout coming out of the sun here. If you have eclipse glasses, never look at the sun without protection. Um, you can see this dark spot, um, this, this uh, you know, cluster of all these sunspots appears as a dark spot to us. And that's this active region on the sun. Wait, she said if you have eclipse glasses, you can see it? I mean, we have these just laying around. We might as well try it. It's true, you can see the spots with just your eyes and the glasses, but it turns out we also have eclipse glasses for our cameras, and this is what we can see. It's not great, it's not a telescope after all, but there's the sun, and there are those dark sunspots at the bottom. Usually the radiation the sun puts out is kind of minor. It's what makes the northern lights way up north. But look, this is NOAA's forecast for the northern lights. It's going to get crazy the next two days. What's that mean for us? It could mean some problems with power, cell phones, satellites. But officials say that probably won't happen. They've had a heads up to prepare. What you could see is this, even down here in the southwest. If you look towards the north, during very strong uh, geomagnetic storms, uh, it is possible sometimes to see aurora this far south. So for instance, if we were to see aurora overhead um, in northern Utah or Montana, we may be able to see those same aurora on the horizon down in Arizona. It's a big maybe, but the solar storm is expected to last throughout the weekend. William Pitts, 12